This could get expensive. What a hand we got going. Here's the turn card. It's a four of hearts. Well, three hearts on the board. Marvin, as you can see, has the king of hearts. Top pair with a flush draw. He's checked into Tony. But Tony has the best hand with the kings. Tired of sitting down at a poker table filled with pros? Then come to WPT Global, the online home of the World Poker Tour. With a maximum of two pros at each table, everyone has a chance to win. We are leveling the playing field at WPT Global. Sign up today with this QR code or go to WPTGlobal.com YT and use bonus code YT88 and we'll match your first deposit dollar for dollar. We're at the beautiful Sinesta Maho Beach Resort and Casino. Let's go to the felt mad. Marvin gonna raise with his ace 10. Yep, right under the gun, pops it up. Makes it 34,000 to go. Robbie and Severin out, and look at this. Guess who has picked up two ladies. Tony Dunst on the button with two queens. Just calls. That's kind of interesting, the Italian going out. Well, he just calls because he knows Mad Marvin is such an aggressive player. Just gonna let him bet his money off here. Zoltan also out, so Tony with a big hand. Here we go, a flopping 5-3, deuce, nice for Tony. Now Mad Marvin checks. Shows you the respect he's got for Tony Dunst because he doesn't check very often when he raises pre-flop, that's for sure. But Tony's gonna bet to two queens, he bets 40,000. Mad Marvin does have the gut shot straight draw. Makes the call, and we are going to the turn. So Mad Marvin in trouble here, no more though, oh. as the ace of hearts comes off. Neither player has a heart in their hand. Let's see how Mad Marvin's gonna play this one. He's gonna check. And Tony wisely checks right behind him. Brady might made a straight, a flush, or at worst two aces, and that's the case. Now a three comes off. Well, Mad Marvin. Now figuring aces up with the best hand. He is gonna bet him. He has 72,000. Well, what's Tony gonna do now with the two queens? Well, it's gonna be tough to get away from this hand. You're curious. The guy called you on the flop with something. It was either got an ace for a gut shot straight or he had a four in his hand. Or he had a wheel draw, but mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tony wisely laying it down. Vince, I don't think he could have lost less with those two queens. Well, the good thing was he wasn't heavily invested, just didn't want to take a chance. A very strong lay down for Tony Dunst. Uh, Marvin's definitely the guy I'm most concerned about. He's won two of our events before. I've commentated one of his final tables and watched him play really, really well throughout. So, uh, of everyone, Marvin concerns me the most. Well, Tony is not the only one that respects Mad Marvin's play. Every player on tour respects that, I can assure you. And at this table, Mad Marvin's got four and a half million in career earnings, far more than anybody else at the table. All right, right back at him. Tony Dunst now with a very attractive Jack-10 of clubs. Suited connector. 32. There you go. 32,000 to go. 32. WPT champion from Italy, Giacomo. Releases his hand now, Zoltan. Well, can't play that mess. The men raised by Tony Dunst with the Jack 10 suited. Now Marvin with the button. King high. Look at this. He goes out. Don't want to mess with Tony. Ooh, ooh. And, oh, my oh goodness. Well, look at that. Unbelievable. Two aces. Robbie Bacher, the local. Two aces, Mike. Yep. He's from St. Martin, was born in Amsterdam. Moved down here, loves it here. Hasn't played a hand here yet at the final table, and now he's getting out the raising chips. Well, look at him, Vince. Boom. He's 30 years old, the old man at the table. Yep, and he's gonna cover up his mouth for some reason. Well, the reason is, if he loses with these aces, he's gonna throw up right in that town. <laughs> Playing about a million? <laughs> He's just getting prepared for it. <laughs> All right. He's made it 90,000. Tony gonna make the call here. Robbie Bacher with a great opportunity here. Against our Tony Dunst, here's the flop. Oh, what? it's an ace right on the flop. Robbie has flopped three aces, but notice Tony has flopped a pair and a flush draw. We could see a lot of fireworks right here, right now on this flop. Oh boy, we should. Robbie Bacher getting out chips. Flops the three of a kind. That's gonna bet. Looks like 85,000. Far less than 50% of the pot. 
A lot of players would just come back over the top right now and play this aggressively with the four flush of the pair, but no Tony. Well, they sure would, but Tony just makes the call with the pair in the four flush. Wants to hit a club, doesn't there, as a deuce of diamonds appears. So Ravish got to be feeling very good right now. Three aces well out in front. Looks like the price of poker is going up substantially here, Vince. He's getting out two big stacks. That's about 200,000 that he's betting there. Yeah, he's going to make Tony Dunst pay for it if he wants to call this for his flush. First time he bet far less than 50% of the pot. This time he bets a lot more than 50% of the pot. Tony with a tough decision here. Do you want to play with the draw? Of course, Tony thinks he might win the pot with a 10 or a jack or a club. He thinks he's got more outs than he does, probably. Yeah, that's He's going to make the call. Yep, and hopefully get lucky. We get down to the river. This pot is big. Tony's got to catch a club that's not What's the deuce of clubs. And he does it. Whoa. The queen of clubs comes off. <laughs> a dream card for Tony. Got to be some kind of scare card for Robbie, but he's still got three aces. Uh-oh, Robbie's wow. gone all in. Well, Tony nods his head. His opponent's got a king eye flush. He's beat, but you're, you're <laughs> yeah, not going to throw this hand sure away. He makes do. the call, and Robbie is going to start barfing in that towel any minute now. Guy played one hand at the final table, had aces, made three aces, got broke. Oh, boy, he is stunned. Well, he's still staring in disbelief. Tough luck for the local. Oh, boy, I, I'll say he is gone 28,700 richer. Let's go down and see what he has to say. I just feel bad. I about the hand, maybe at the river, at the check fold or check cold, maybe it was better, but I don't know. I'm, I don't know what to say. Five players going at it right now. Our very own Tony Dunst, the chip leader. He'll fold his hand. And now the Italian Giacomo, a WPT champion. He's got an attractive ace, six of spades. And he will raise with it 32,000 to go into Zoltan. Sultan's a cash player in Europe. He'll fold that hand, and now the bad man usually has a scarf, but a little too hot here today to wear it. He's got the 10-9 off suit, but he's also got the big blind. He's a defender. He makes the call. Two WPT champions going out at the flops of Jack, 10-5. Well, just like that, Mad Marvin takes the lead with two 10s. But it goes check, check. So Mad Marvin's got to feel like the tens are the best hand right now. Now a nine comes off. And spades. So two pair for Marvin, but a flush draw for Giacomo. Now Marvin's going to make a bet. Yep, it's 36,000. Giacomo with the insta call. Love to catch his flush. Put some pain on the German. Down to the river we go. And it oh. is a spade. Wow. Giacomo has made the best hand possible, the nut flush. Mad Marvin heading for some rocky rapids right now. Yeah, Marvin's going to bet 78,000 into the man that just caught. I'm all in. There you go. Oh, well, it's nearly 300,000 more. Mad Marvin says, you got to be kidding me. Don't tell me I got outdrawn on the river again. It happened a minute ago when he had queens. The guy had a king on the river to beat him. Now his opponents hit spade, spade to beat him. Marvin with two pair. You just don't think a guy's going to move in without a straight or a flush in this situation. Marvin does the right thing. Good lay down by Mad Marvin right there. Good catch by Giacomo to take down the pot. Tired of sitting down at a poker table filled with pros? Then come the WPT Global, the online home of the World Poker Tour. With a maximum of two pros at each table, everyone has a chance to win. We are leveling the playing field at WPT Global. Sign up today with this QR code or go to WPTglobal.com slash YT and use bonus code YT88 and we'll match your first deposit dollar for dollar. Had nothing else to do, played a satellite, won it, saved his entry fee, pretty sweet. Back to this hand, look at this, pair of kings for Tony Dunst. 32. Whoa, what a hand, makes it 32. He's hitting some good hands. Catching on the river when he needs to. Here he's got kings. Giacomo with a little 5-6, a suited connector. Well, you like to see flops with those kind of hands. Sure. 
Yeah, he's going to make this call. So Giacomo going to make the call. Zoltan also with the suited connector, but he releases that. Well, he was on the button, but he doesn't have enough chips to play it. Oh, man, Marvin's got a big hand for him. King, queen, offsuit. <laughs> well, he's going to call out of the small blind. Of course he is. And Severin with a 10-8 of spade, and the big blind is going to call. The only guy that's not playing at the table was the guy with the 9-8 suited on the button who threw his hand away. Four-handed action. Tony with the pair of kings. Flop is a queen, nine, four, two hearts. Queens for Mad Marvin. This could spell big trouble for Mad Marvin. He's got top pair with the king kicker. He checks, Severin checks, the gut shot straight draw. Tony is not going to check the over pair. He bets 65,000. Yep, the Italian goes out, and now Mad Marvin. Top pair king kicker just calling. Doesn't raise with it, just calls with it. Severin goes out. This could get expensive. What a hand we got going. Here's the turn card. It's a four of hearts. Well, three hearts on the board. Marvin, as you can see, has the king of hearts. Top pair with a flush draw. He's checked into Tony. But well, Tony has the best hand with the kings. 165. Tony's going to apply the pressure still, of course, like he should. 165. Well, because Marvin has the flush draw to go with the top pair and the king kicker. I don't see him getting away from this hand. A lot of players would come back over the top, perhaps, but no, Mad Marvin, content to call. And the river card, eight, ten of diamonds, no heart. Now Mad Marvin checks. Tony's going to check also, just in case Mad Marvin slow playing the flush. He turns up king, queen. Tony turns up the two kings. So respect for Mad Marvin there. Tony Dunst takes down that pot. Yeah. Mad Marvin just shaking his head. He said, what is going on here? I get beat in river all the time. I finally flop a good hand, and I still get beat. Oh, well done by Tony Dunn. By the way, if he should win this tournament, that would put him over the $1 million marker for earnings in poker. It would be the biggest win in Tony's career. A WPT title would look very good on his resume. All right. And Giacomo with a pair of jacks has raised Makes it 35,000 to go. Zoltan out. And Mad Marvin with two fives. No doubt in my mind he's going to play him. Just a matter if he's going to raise with him or not. If he does, it could spell big trouble for him. With the button, no, just calls. Severin out, and Tony Dunst has picked up a big hand, ace king. Well, Tony's not going to call. Yep. He makes it 125,000 to go. Giacomo might be thinking he's trying to make a squeeze play or something, but I've got jacks. He's got aces, kings, or queens. Good luck to him. Holy. Yep, Giacomo's gone all in. He gets Marvin to go out. And Tony will make this call, of course. Well, Tony can well afford to make the call. He does so, and we have a race. Ace King versus two Jacks. Yeah, WPT chip. Giacomo Fondero in front with the Jacks. We flop up Queen 9 4. Not good for Tony right there. Giacomo out in front with the Jacks. Giacomo at risk. He wants to capture a WPT title. For the second time, he must win this pot. So far, so good as the deuce comes on the turn. Tony Dunst must catch an ace or a king on the river to eliminate Giacomo from this tournament. The Italian Giacomo with a big chance to double up. With one card to go, let's take a peek at the river. It's a deuce. So Giacomo is going to double up here. His hopes for a second WPT title still intact as he takes down that pot. Only folding there. Action on Giacomo. He's the Italian. He's got a Jack-10. He'll make it 42,000 to go. Zoltan out. Now the madman, Mr. Rettenmeyer, also with a Jack-10. Same hand. He's on a short stack. The German going for his third WPT title here tonight. He does that. He'll tie Gus Hansen. Carlos Mortensen is the winningest players ever on the World Poker Tour, but he is three betting here, all in for 410,000 with the Jack-10. Severin out. Now it's back around to the Italian. This is a lot of heat on him. Well, I don't know how he can call this. Pretty uncallable, I would think. 
Mad Marvin taking a shot, but his man just wasn't that strong. Just to push him out and pick up this pot. Can he be done? It has been done. Mad Marvin gonna win this. And look at this, he's trying to pretend like he's aggravated. He is tickled pink. Oh boy. He's good on a short stack, Mike. He's happier than the guys looking at the girls on the beach right now. Happier than a hippie getting past customs. That's what Marvin is right now. Moving right on, action going on Giacomo. And he will not call that. Into Zoltan. He's got the two eights. The two snowmen. Man, he's a big cash player in Europe. He's going to shove it all in with the eights right now. Just like that, Mad Marvin going out. Now Severin out as well. Tony Dunst with the insta-call, ace-queen of clubs. So we have another race situation. Ace-queen versus the two eights. Zoltan must win this pot to stay alive. Will the eight stand up or will the snowman melt away? We are flopping. Here's the flop. Two fives and a deuce, but there's two clubs. Well, Tony's flopped a club flush draw. That's how he won a huge pot a while ago when he made a club flush on the river. Can he do it again? Got a big chance to knock out the Hungarian. Ten of hearts, not going to do it there. Well, Zoltan bobbing and weaving. Can he hold him? Down to the river. Here we go. Can Tony get knock him out? He's going to knock queen. him out with the queen. He has done it. All right, then I'm going to catch my fly. Zoltan takes the blow on the river and is going to be knocked out in fifth Good place. Luck, guys. What a river card. Zoltan Purik, his first WPT cash. Good week for him, but the 29 year old out tonight in fifth place. Yeah, he's going to take home $35,900. Zoltan has to say bye bye. Let's go talk to him. It's uh, fun to be here at the Caribbeans. It's so good to play a final table out in the sunshine. I wish I had won that flip and could be still playing there. All right to the felt we go. The Italian Giacomo Fondaro will fold his hand. Mad Marvin. And yeah, looks at the king three of spade on the button. A crazy German. What a player, two-time WPT champion has a king three of spades. Now he's on the short stack at this moment. That's not gonna stop him from raising here. Mm -mm. And he does so, makes it 42,000 to go. The Austrian Severin goes out and now Tony Dunst with a pretty decent queen 10 of clubs. Well, clubs have treated him very well here today so far. So anytime he gets them, he's playing them. Makes the call. And the flop is a 10-6 deuce. Now Tony out in front with the top pair. He's gonna check it. Into Mad Marvin. Marvin too smart though, checks behind him. And now the board pairs sixes. Tony with the tens and sixes, of course. Gonna stick in a little bet, 45,000. Look at this, Mad Marvin just has king high, but he thinks Tony might have something like eight, nine, jack nine, jack queen. Might be just trying to pinch the pot, so he's gonna call him with king high. Yeah, river court is another 10. So 10's full for Tony. Now he's going to bet again. It's going to be interesting to see what Mad Marvin does. He called him on the turn thinking the King High might be the best hand. Will he do the same thing on the river? He's up against a full house, but... 115,000. That's pretty expensive if you just don't have that much to be curious with. Well, you see, he's thinking about making the hero call, Vince. Just saying, what's Tony got? He didn't re-raise for the flop. I don't put him on an ace. Oh, don't do it to yourself, man. Could he Marvin. have Jack Queen? Don't do it. Could He's he have Jack it. Nine? He doesn't. He's got tens full. And Mad Marvin says, mm, not a good time to make a hero call. Yeah, hero to zero there for Mad Marvin. And look at him. He's just he's just starting to question himself, oh, yeah. his manhood, and he's starting to sweat more. Just <laughs> not pretty. Well, I understand the logic of the call. Just Bad timing. All right, now the Annies are up to 4,000. Blinds are 12 and 24,000. Action on Severin. He folds. 48. Tony Dunst now with a Doyle Brunson oh. hand, 10 deuce. Doyle will be proud of him. Got the 10 deuce of spade, raises it up. But there could be trouble on his left because the Italian has a legitimate mid pair pair of sevens. And he's up against the chip leader here. Do you want a three bet here and then get raised again? What do you do with the two sevens? Giacomo just calling with the sevens. Interesting. Well, that's going to allow Mad Marvin to come into the pot as well with a jack ten. 
It's going to cost him the size of the big blind to call. Uh, he is a desperado at this point. He'll almost call anything. Well, 160,000 out there cost him 24 more thousand to call. I would certainly call. Mad Marvin does as well. He's going to take a shot. We've got three-handed action here in the Caribbean. Well, flop comes uh -oh. 10 high. Uh-oh. Notice Mad Marvin's got top pair, but Tony has got top and bottom pair. Two pair. What a time to do it. Two checks into Tony. This is why Doyle made that hand famous. 10 deuce flop and two pair. Tony coming out with the money. A nice tickle of 65,000. Well, Giacomo's got two sevens. He's got to be thinking maybe they're the best hand. But gets away from a good lay down by Giacomo, but I don't see Mad Marvin going anywhere, Vince. I just see doom and gloom for him here. Well, you're right. He's going to misstep here and fire. Yes, he's going to go all in. Call. Yeah, Tony's going to make the insta call. Oh, Mad Marvin, two time WPT champion on the ropes right now. Well, Mad Marvin just can't believe his luck here. He's been outdrawn on the river several times. Now he's got to outdraw his opponent to stay alive. As the cars line needs a jack or nine to take the lead. Yep, and catches it on the turn. Yeah, did it. Wow. He did it. All smiles for Mad Marvin now. Just got to dodge a deuce on the river, and he's going to double up. Oh, Tony's sickened by that. It's a queen of hearts on the river. It's going to work out there for Mad Marvin. So Mad Marvin's hopes of a third WPT title still alive after that draw out. And that was a true raw deal there for Tony Dunst. You stick around with the slop. You flop good. Mad Marvin comes back in a big way. Back to the felt. Tony Dunst now will be the first one to play. Things are going his way. Thanks, his timing is perfect. You saw him get away from an ace a minute ago yeah. when his opponent raised. He three bet with a jack high a second ago. Everything he's doing is just right. All right, a couple folds around to Mad Marvin, and he's on the short stack. He's got a jack eight of hearts. Oh, he's in the small blind. Mad Marvin winding oh. up, it looks like. Yep. Well, he is moving all in here with the jack eight suited, but that? hoping that his opponent had nothing, but that's not the case. Seven's picked up ace jack. I can't believe this is not a snap call here in this situation. It's got his opponent dominated ace jack versus jack eight. Doesn't know it, but. I call. Well, he does make the call. Took him a while to make it. You see, Mad Marvin wins because he knows he's dominated ace jack versus jack eight. That is complete pain and loathing for Mad Marvin. Just wanted to steal the pot and survive, but that to be. Here we go with the flop, and it's an ace on the flop. Seven hits aces. That means Marvin's got to catch two running eights to win the pot. He could tie it if it came queen ten, but Mad Marvin about to go out to sea. Yep, the possibility he's going to get dunked in the Caribbean right now. Unless he catches, it's a seven of clubs. Mad Marvin Rettenheyer is going to have to wait till another event to take down his third WPT title. Came to this final table in fourth chip position. Finishes in fourth place tonight. That is true. The Austrian sings Edelweiss to Mad Marvin, who's going to take home 46,800. Let's go talk to him. I don't really have, like, any real regrets. There was a couple of silly spots where I knew I was probably behind, but I still had to call because uh, there was a chance. <laughs> and um, so, yeah, it's, it's just a lot of silly spots, really. I don't... I feel like I played well, um, but it's still very disappointing. Tired of sitting down at a poker table filled with pros? Then come the WPT Global, the online home of the World Poker Tour. With a maximum of two pros at each table, everyone has a chance to win. We are leveling the playing field at WPT Global. Sign up today with this QR code or go to WPTGlobal.com YT and use bonus code YT88 and we'll match your first deposit dollar for dollar. And here is the beautiful WPT Champions Cup where all the champs have their name inscribed on that beautiful trophy. Along with that, the winner will take home 145,000, Mike. Plus they also get an entry into the season ending WPT World Championship. So a lot on the line for these guys. Action on Giacomo. He looks down at a jack, eight of hearts. Well, he's on the button. Looks like he's getting out and raising chips. Indeed, he is. That's 52,000. And now Severin has a very nice ace queen. 
We just saw Mad Marvin go out of the tournament with the Jack Eight of Hearts. Severin is going to raise here, it looks like. Yeah, he's getting the raising chips out. He makes it 127 to go. Tony with a king, king ace. Oh, wow. This is incredible. Yeah. We're going to see a four bet here. I got a feeling, folks. 265. There you go. He's going to move it up to 265. Well, there it is. The four bet to 265,000. Giacomo, of course. He was just plunging around with a jack eight, but imagine he's going to get involved with this hand after it was three bet and four bet behind him. Yep, he does go out. Ciao, my friends. Back on the man with ace queen. This could be very troublesome for him. Well, I'm all in. He's going to make a mistake. He's going all in. You have like 1.2, 1.3. We have to play a big one. You certainly do. He's made this call, Mike. Well, Tony Dust has him dominated. Ace King versus Ace Queen. That's, That's exact it. hand Tony would like to see the guy turn up. Oh, yeah. No race, no small pair. He has to beat. I'm yet for the second. Five cards to come. Crazy things can happen on the WPT, though. Let's take a quick look at these first three. King 10-8, Tony flopping top pair. Yep. Two kings he makes on the flop, but his opponent has flopped a gut shot straight throw. That's not what I want to see. I know, I know. <laughs> no, what I want to see. Tony said that's not what I want to see because his opponent has more outs now than he had before. Well, it's safe because the Nine of Clubs on the turn. So Tony Dunst, one card away from knocking out the young Austrian. Yeah, the 23-year-old must catch a jack on the river or he'll be heading back to Austria. The Four of Clubs not going to work for the Austrian. He has been dumped into the Caribbean out in third place. A tremendous effort by him as he shakes the hand of the chip leader, Tony Dunst. Well, good effort by the amateur, no doubt about it. But out in third place. How exciting for our raw deal man, Tony Dunst. He gives the raw deal to the Austrian, who's going to take home 63,500. Let's go talk to him. It was just a lot of fun. The scenery was awesome. I think I played rather good poker. For me, the breaking point was when Tony hit his deuce on the river to win a huge pot against me. Good luck, those two guys. It was a fun experience, no, nevertheless. And the <laughs> blinds are up to 20 and 40, and he's 5,000. Giacomo with Ace King has made it 80,000. Well, again, Giacomo picks up the best pre flop hand. Raises the pot, and again, Tony calls. With a jack nine, here's the flop. Oh, nice flop for Tony. He's flopped top pair here as it comes nine, four, three with two clubs. Tony checks, and Giacomo going to make the continuation bet. 85,000. Will Tony raise or just call? He is just calling. Yes, he is. We are going to the turn. It's a jack of hearts. Two pair for Dunst. Well, a dream card for Tony. His opponent drawing completely dead. No card he can catch to win the pot. Tony just hopes he keeps betting at it. Yep, he checks again, hoping to trap. But the Italian too smart there. Checks behind him, going to the river. Six of spade on the river. 240. Tony's got to come out with a bet. You know, 240,000 is the bet. Pretty healthy bet. Yeah, Giacomo's just saying to himself, what can I beat here now other than a busted club flush draw? Well, it's pretty expensive for the amount of this pot, I believe. I think it's going to chase off his man. And it does that exactly. So Tony will win that hand. He's got to be happy with that, Mike. Yeah, takes down yet another pot. He's one step closer to capturing his first WPT title. Can he close the deal? Let's take a look at Tony's cards. Yes, a pair of nines. 80. Raise 80. And he will raise it. Just up as the size of the big blind, makes it 80,000 to go. Now Giacomo with a king four of spades. He is going to three bet this hand to 185,000. He certainly is. Now Tony in a quandary. Do you to repop here or do you just 
and content to call and see the flop. I would just raise right now. If he's got a bigger pair than this, good luck to him. 365. Well, there he goes. 365. He's going to move it up. Makes it 365 in total. Well, he does bet. A four bet to 365,000. Just doesn't want to give his man a chance to outdraw him. In case he doesn't have a big pair, of course. Giacomo with just king four. Oh boy, he's got to be frustrated with that. Or maybe not. There's a lot of money in the pot right now. Do you want to take a flop with this hand? That's the question. Problem is you're afraid your opponent might have ace king, and if you hit a king, then you go broke. There's too much pressure on the Italian. Tony Dunn's going to scoop up another one. This time Giacomo has picked up a king jack of clubs. Going to raise to 80,000. And now Tony Dunst has an ace three. Now Tony recognizes an ace high playing heads up over is a strong hand. 185. He's got a three bet with it here, up to 185,000. Certainly does. Giacomo, you got to like a king jack of clubs. Got to stick around with this one. And that's exactly what he'll do. And he's going to see a flop here. Lines at 20 and 40, getting expensive, and here's the flop. It's a Jack 10 3. Nice flop for Giacomo. He's flop top pair. Tony Dunst has flop bottom pair as it comes Jack 10 3, two spades. Tony's going to check it. I don't see Giacomo checking two Jacks here. Giacomo really hasn't made too many mistakes here tonight. Plays really nice poker. Solid, strong, and he's going to make the bet 205. And that's a healthy bet here, 205,000. Might be putting Tony on something like Ace Queen. Just didn't want him to catch any of those overcards that would beat him. Tony, though, with a ton of chips, can afford to speculate. That's exactly what he's going to do. He's going to call. This could get interesting. We're going to the turn. It's an ace. What a card oh. for Tony. He's got aces up now. He's going to try to trap you with a check. And again, Tony checks. Fearful his opponent might have ace 10, maybe king queen. Giacomo checks behind him. And the board pairs threes on the river. Tony Dunst helped on the turn yep. and the river. Yep. He now has a full house. 530. The checking is over. Didn't really need it. Now he's coming out with a bet of 530. That's a hefty bet into the Italian. Well, he's trying to figure out what Tony might have had. Did he have a spade draw? Did he have a straight draw? Did he make aces up? Would he bet that much with just aces up? Well, this could absolutely cripple him if he makes his call. This hand could be laid down, I tell you that much. Well, remember, Tony called 205,000 on the flop. We either had a draw or some kind of hand. Giacomo could only beat 8-9 or a busted flush draw here, maybe a queen nine. That's about it. Don't forget, Tony three bet before the flop. You can respect an ace here. But Giacomo. Scratching his head. He'd be a hero if he makes the call and be right. But of course, we know he'd be very wrong. Sometimes your curiosity gets to you. He's looking Tony over. Now Tony's saying, please call me. Please call me. Please call. He's got to get the call. Full house. And he got his wish. Whoa. Giacomo makes the call. Tony turns up the full house to take down the pot. And Giacomo realizes he was outdrawn on the turn. Oh, mamma mia. That's a spicy meatball. Oh, boy, not a happy Italian right now. Not at all. Tony Dunst raking in those chips. Giacomo in a trouble spot right now. He's getting whittled away. He is circling the drain, no doubt about it. Action's on Dunst. He's got Jack Deuce. All in. And he's going to push all in. Well, Giacomo's only got six big blinds left, so yeah. he's going to call it here. Makes the instant call. He's going to like it. He's out in front. Make a nice smooth double up and peck himself back into this if his hand should hold up. Giacomo, a former WPT champion with a chance of taking down two titles on the ropes right now with King 3. Deuce. And a Jack Deuce on the Jack flop. Jack and a Deuce on the flop. Wow. Tony Dunst. Running so good. He has flopped two pair. His opponent has to catch two runners 
to stay alive in this tournament. Unbelievable flop. Here we go with a turn. It's over. Six of spade comes off. That's going to do it for Giacomo. He is going to finish in second place. Tony Dunn has done it, Vince. He is the WPT Caribbean champion. Uh, he played great. Tony Dunn, star raw deal man, is a champion. But before we talk to Tony, let's talk to our runner-up, Giacomo Fundaro. If I replay, I play the same. Uh, runner up this time. I try maybe the next WPT for win my second title. Well, you had to be the WPT champion to become a WPT champion. Tony Dunst, congratulations. Lynn, back to you.